Hello guys, this is Professor DK and welcome to another episode of the Simple Login App using the Database series. So in the previous video, I showed you how you can retrieve data from the storage and then put it into the image view. If you haven't watched that, make sure to watch that and then come back to this video because in today's video, whatever coding that we do will be similar to the coding that we have done in the previous two videos. All right. So in today's videos, I'll be showing you how you can update the data on the storage, more specifically about how you can update the image which was there in your profile on storage. All right. So before we actually get into that, so I would like to address an issue which uh, some of you have noticed. So after the last video, when we had, you know, implemented the storage functionality, so the logout functionality wasn't working. Okay. So whenever you clicked on logout, the app used to crash and then, uh, you know, you had to restart the app. So firstly, I'll enter my credentials. So I entered Duncan at gmail.com in the previous video and the password was 1234567 I'm going to click on login. And then once I click on logout, you see that I get this error saying login demo has stopped. All right. So that used to happen for some reason. And, uh, you know, for those of you who didn't notice that, so, uh, I'll just take a couple of minutes to explain how you can understand if there's a bug and how you can, you know, uh, debug it and what is the next course of action. Okay. So suppose if I spot a bug, so what is my next course of action? So I'll quickly tell you about how I go about with this process. Okay. So whenever you need to debug, so what you need to do is whenever you add a new functionality, you need to go over to run and then make sure that the lock cat is open. Okay. So I always keep, you know, telling this in the comments. So please post a lock cat error, lock cat error, because that is what gives you the exact error in the app. What is the component that caused the error? So that is why this becomes a key aspect of debugging. So here, what you need to do is you need to connect your phone via USB. And then when you open your app, so you should see the package name at the top. All right. So this is the package name of our app login demo. And the next thing is you need to set the options to error. Okay. So what are these different options, right? So verbose basically means that, uh, it uh, shows you each and everything about the app. So it's not just about your code. It also tells you other uh, irrelevant stuff like, you know, your battery or, you know, sensors, all the different stuff. Okay. So you have absolutely everything here and it becomes tough to identify the error in between. So that is why you have this column called error. So when you click on this, whenever there is any error, so everything will reflect here. All right. So now I have the app running here. So firstly, I'll enter my credentials. So I entered Duncan at gmail.com in the previous video and the password was 1234567 I'm going to click on login. And then once I click on logout, you see that I get this error saying login demo has stopped. Okay. All right. So whenever you face this, so the first thing that you need to do is go over to go over to your logcat and then when the app stopped, so you should see this. Okay. So when the app stopped, I got this fatal exception and here it will tell you the exact reason why the app crashed. All right. So here it says that unable to start component activity info. And here you can see that there is a null argument in Firebase database dot get reference. So you know, to go to that exact line, you can just click on this you know, it'll be highlighted in blue with an underline. So you can just click on that and it'll show you the exact line where the error was caused. Okay. So here it says that Firebase database dot get reference. And whenever I pass this, so it is getting a null object here. And that is why the app is crashing. So why is this happening? Okay. So Firebase or dot get ID is basically used, you know, to identify which user has logged in, right? So when I log in into the app, so the UID is there, but then why is it crashing even though it is there, right? Why is it showing null? Okay. So after some analysis, I just found out that, you know, when you go over to second activity dot Java, so here I have the switch case. So in the switch case, based on the different menu clicks, I load the different activities, right? So what is happening is when I click on logout, so the logout functionality gets executed wherein the firebase auth dot sign out function, you know, when this gets executed, the, you know, the UID becomes null. Okay. Obviously because the user has now, you know, logged out. So that is why there is no user. 
And since this is a switch case with no brake functionality, I just forgot to add in brakes and that is why it continued to execute the next function which was start activity and then you know it started profile activity wherein the user was not present and that is why the UID is null. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. You know, if, if it's a lot for you, just forget it. You can just, uh, you know, jump to the coding aspect, the next part. All right, but you know, this is how you should learn. Okay, why the mistakes happen? Because there is some flow, there is some coding syntax that you need to follow or else everything might go wrong. Okay, so this is a simple mistake and you won't even be thinking, uh, you know, you might wonder there is something else, but then these are the smallest of mistakes you can make and which can affect your app greatly. Okay, so make sure you don't make the silly mistakes. So make sure you add in the brakes here and then you can just go ahead and run the app and everything will work exactly fine. All right. So this is why uh, the app was crashing whenever you click log out. So I hope you all got it. Okay. So let me just close this. Okay, so for this video, we'll be needing only these three activities, the registration activity, profile activity and the update profile. So you can go ahead and close all the other activities. So go to update profile.java and here you need to add in a couple of code. So firstly, you need to add the functionality on the profile pick, right? So if you go over to the layout of update profile, so if you go over and click on activity update profile, so we have not added any functionality to this image view, right? So the ID of this image view is ID profile update and we have not created any variable here for that. So let's just go ahead and create the variable for that. So image view and I'll just call this as update profile pick maybe. All right. And let's quickly give this an ID. Find view by ID R dot ID dot IV profile update. Okay, so what happens when you click on this uh, update profile pic? So it should ask you to, you know, update your image, right? So again, you need to add in the same functionality that you added in registration activity. So you can just go over and copy some code. So firstly, you need to copy from you know the variable pick image so you need to copy from here until the end of on activity result okay before the on create so just copy that and you can just paste it in update profile so before uh, on create so you can just paste it here and uh, here obviously this will show uh, user profile pick in red because that is not the widget uh, that's not the variable that we have created for uh, the profile pic so I'm just gonna put the name that we have defined so update profile pic dot set image bitmap and uh, this is gonna basically allow you to pick the image from your gallery and uh, one more thing that you need to do is so whenever you click on update profile button from profile activity so firstly the update profile uh, layout should you know show whatever is already present and then when you click on it it is gonna allow you to you know uh, choose any other image okay so that's how it'll work so that is why you need to also display the uh, image which already exists so for that you can again go to profile activity dot java and then copy code from there all right so firstly you'll need to copy this line from here so storage reference dot get reference you need to get the reference to that child and then you need to load it using picasso so I'm just going to copy this and uh, obviously we're going to get some errors because we're not defined some variables. So where do we paste this, right? So we need to paste this inside on create. So make sure you are inside on create. So I'm just going to paste it before save maybe. Okay. So I'm going to paste it here and it's going to throw some error because the variables haven't been declared. So Firebase auth, I guess wasn't present. So Firebase storage isn't present. So I'm just going to copy firebase storage dot get instance and I'm going to paste it here after the firebase database get instance method. Okay. And uh, also you need to declare the global variable for that. So I need to go to the top here, copy this. And you need to paste it here. All right. So now the error should be gone. And here instead of profile pic, you need to give the 
image view uh, id so the variable that we have declared for image view is update profile pic right so i'm going to put in update profile pic here okay so the next thing that you need to do guys is you need to send the new image to on to the storage right so for that you need to go over to registration activity and under send user data so i had written this piece of code for sending the data on to storage using the upload task all right so you need to do the same here so you need to get the database just copy from storage reference until the end of the upload task copy it and then you can paste it so where do you paste this so this is crucial guys so when does the upload happen right you only upload it onto the storage once the save button is clicked so that is why inside save dot set on click listener you need to paste this code and make sure you paste it before finish because finish is gonna you know destroy your activity and if you put this piece of code after it so the activity itself won't exist there's no ui and this will obviously fail all right so you do not want to do that mistake so make sure you place it inside save and before finish so here it will obviously throw an error because storage reference is not defined right so the storage reference which i have defined here is not global and it cannot be accessed inside the inner class so that's why you need to make this global so you can just uh, you know either you can add it before on create or you can just declare it as final so that will also work so when you declare it as final the error has gone and the toast requires the current context and the current context is nothing but the update profile activity context is nothing but the activity guys if you do not know about that all right so here you need to change it as well so you have changed the context for both of the toasts so before you run the app so a last thing that you need to do is you need to provide an on click listener on the update profile pic right so only when you click on the image you that's when it's going to allow you to change the image so for doing that you can just again go over to registration activity and just find the function which was used for you know uh, doing that so here we have the function so user profile pic dot set on click listener if you just click on that it's going to expand the function all right so here you just need to copy this four lines of code okay so start activity for result so this is what we need to add so go to update profile and inside on create uh, you can just add it after save update profile pic dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this i'm going to paste the four lines of code all right so when you click on the image you it's going to allow you to choose the image we'll use the built in intent action get content which is provided by android to get the image and then you can just uh, you know provide it with a tag and then you know you can start the start activity for result function so in start activity for result like in the previous case you're going to get the image and then you are going to load it into the bitmap and uh, as i mentioned in the previous video so uh, image caching is one aspect that you should consider in your app because each time making a call and downloading the uh, the image you know it might take some time so that is why uh, it's better to cache images uh, onto your local system i thought i'll implement that in this video itself but then uh, it's actually a, a complex process i can say because not in terms of coding the number of lines are actually less but then uh, to explain it in a way that you can understand it will need some time so that's why i'm thinking of putting it uh, into a next video dedicated to that all right so you can uh, you know find uh, that video next week maybe so now um, i think we are done with the uh, uh, today's video so you can just go ahead and run the app okay guys so i have the app running here so i recommend that you delete all the data on firebase and then create a new user and do everything from the scratch okay so that way if you have added anything here and there everything will reflect in your app all right so uh, i'm just going to directly enter my credentials and not going to create a new user so i'm going to use the previous one so dunkin at gmail.com 1234567 is the password because uh, the only change i have done will reflect in update profile all right so 
I'm going to click on login and here's my second activity and uh, I'm going to click on profile. So this is going to display a picture of mine with other details. Now I'm going to click on edit wherein I've added the functionality, right? So I'm going to click on the image and it's going to do everything that we've done in the last two videos. Okay. So it will allow you to choose an image. So I'm going to click on my file manager and then it's going to allow you to choose an image. So I'm going to quickly go over to pictures and I'm going to choose, I'm going to go to Instagram pictures and maybe select an image of mine. So if you want to follow me there, you can do that as well. The link is in the description below and uh, I'm going to add my new image and it's going to reflect here and then I'm going to click on save. All right. So uh, the image won't load here right away because as you can see the upload successful toast came right now, right? So you need to go back and then you'll need to click on profile. So this is like refresh. So when you the activity is going to load again and that's how the image has changed. So this is one way, but it's, I mean, this is not convenient, right? You need to go back and come. So that is why you have the option of swipe refresh layouts in app, wherein you just swipe down and then it's going to show an uh, swipe refresh button and which will load the activity again for you. Okay. So that's an exercise which you could do. So you can search swipe refresh layout in Google and it's going to give you many tutorials on it. So you can, uh, just add this layout inside that layout and everything is going to work fine. All right. So that is an exercise you can add, I can do along with this. And then also I wanted to show you that the logout works perfectly fine. So now there is no error. So hope I fixed that as well. So in case you want more help so you can join the Slack community. So here I have over 150 members who are part of this uh, community. I can say so. That's the best part about it. So it's not only me who is helping you. You'll have people who are like-minded will help you. So you make sure you join this group. The link will be in the description below. And if you need any help regarding the code, you can always go over to my GitHub page. The link is in the description below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe so that you do not miss out on any of my future videos. Press that bell icon so that you get notified on every new video. Make sure you leave a comment below on what you want to know next. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And uh, also, if you face any errors, so make sure you put, there, put in there. So thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, happy learning.